This video will explain how to register as a group website in NHD Web Central. Please note that these instructions are for students working in group projects. If you're working individually, please use the instructions for individual website registration, which you can find at nhd.org slash nhdwebcentral. The first thing we'll need to do is select one group member to start this process. In this video, we'll call the group member student one. So the student one will need to go to nhdwebcentral.org and see a page that looks like this. Student one will click the register button to register an account. Before student one registers, you can review the terms of service here for NHD Web Central. Once you click register, you'll be prompted to insert a date of birth. If you are under the age of 13, you will see a parent registration page. If you are over the age of 13, you will not see a parent registration page. What this means is you will need to complete your parent or guardian's first name, last name, email address, and phone number. They will receive an email with a notification that you created an account in NHD Web Central. If your parent or guardian cannot access an email address, please speak with your teacher or your NHD mentor. They can receive the email and print a copy for your parent or guardian to read. So I'm going to put in my parent or guardian's name, email address, and phone number, and then click Next. You will be taken to this page, which is a registration page for your information. You'll be asked to put in your first name, your last name, an email address, and then you'll be prompted to create a username and a password. I'm going to put those in now. Once you put in your username, if it's good, you'll see this username is good message in the top right. If your username has already been taken by another student, you will see a yellow button up here that will prompt you to select a new username. Then I'll insert a password. It's important that you write down your username and password right away so you don't forget those. Next, you'll accept the terms of service. You can review the terms of service down here again. And then you'll click the I am not a robot recapture question. Sometimes you'll be prompted to select photos to verify that you're not a robot. Once that's finished, you'll click register. Then one more time, you'll be prompted to put in that username and password that you just created, and then you'll be signed in. Student one will see the option to start a website or link to an existing website. Student one, since it's the first student in the group, will click start your website and then they will see a page that looks like this. So what do all of these different features mean? The first button is the edit site button. That's what you will click to go in and actually start building your website. The gray view site button allows you to see what your website will look like to NHD judges, your teachers, or anybody you give your website URL to. It's just a preview of what your website will look like for them. Down here you have authorized users and you have a button to allow link. This is what you will do as student one. You will click allow link and you'll see a message that says linking is currently allowed for the next 24 hours. So once you click that button, you'll need to come up here and copy your site key and give that site key to your group members because they will need it to link to your website. The site key is also what you will turn in during any NHD contest registration. Down here is your unique URL that will take viewers to your website. So if you wanna share your website with family members or friends, you can send them directly to this URL. Underneath the URL is this green bar that says 100 megabytes remaining. All NHD websites are required to be 100 megabytes or less. You can't go over this limit. As you start adding images, photos, text, MP3 files, PDFs, all of that to your website, 
your remaining storage will shrink. So this is a nice reminder to help you know how much storage you have left on your website. And finally, there's a red remove site button up at the top right. This will completely delete your website. This cannot be undone. So if you really want to start over, you really don't like how your website looks, you want to just totally get rid of it, you can click remove site. That is what all of these features on this page mean. But remember, the important thing for student one is to click allow link and then distribute this site key to your group members. So what a group member will do is they will follow the same steps that student one did. They will come to register. They will insert their date of birth. They'll click next, insert their parent or guardian information if they are under 13. And I will put that in again. They will complete their own registration. They will put in their username. Uh-oh, that username is not available. Let's try, there we go. And then we'll add in username password, write that down right away so that you don't forget. Complete the terms of service, complete the recaptcha. Now we have to sign in. And now we have a choice, start your own website or link to an existing website. Since this is student number two, student one has already created the website. Student two will just need to put in the site key that the student one gave to them and click link. And now you can see Princess Peach and the Cookie Monster are linked together on this website. You can repeat this process for all of your different group members. So any group member that you have will just need to complete their registration. Once they get to the page that says link to a website, they'll just need to put in the site key and then you can link together to a website. But remember, you only have 24 hours after student one clicks allow link for this to take place. If somebody doesn't do it within that 24 hours, that's okay. Student one can always come back in and click allow link to let in other group members so they can link to the site. And that is how you register as a group website.